well hello everyone welcome back to my channel how you doing today i hope you're doing well i hope you're doing fantastic i hope everything is going well for you and your loved ones so today i hope they'll be pure yeah okay so today i want to tell you about how the coconut tree saved the wall from collapsing and causing major damages and injuries yes the coconut tree yes sounds crazy doesn't it so you may ask well how can a coconut tree save the wall from collapsing well i'm glad you asked let me tell you about it we all know that water dampness is a major issue in ghana look around you you will see what, exactly what i'm talking about the best way to prevent water damage is at the foundation stage you attack it at the foundation stage however there's other ways to mitigate the damage afterwards now when you know better you do better a year ago i decided to resolve the water dampness What's issue it? because it was a major eyesore to me i mean i mean look at it look at these walls they just was just not looking good no matter how much I tried to resolve the issue, it just didn't look well. It didn't look nice. So, I expressed this issue to my the mason, or actually the um, foreman, who was in charge of the building pro um, project at that particular time. The one in charge of the project during that phase of you know the building a recommendation was made to purchase a waterproof um, chemical that will be mixed with cement and then applied to the walls to prevent water from penetrating the wall now I was there when they started doing the um, scraping of the walls however I wasn't there to oversee the completion of the work now the side of the wall was not scraped before applying the mortar to the wall the mortar was applied to a smooth surface instead of a rough surface in other words they were supposed to really scrape the walls really well so that the new mortar being applied to the wall would adhere to the wall and not fall off so the mortar, mortar didn't you know grip to the wall properly therefore after a few months the mortar or the new concrete began to separate from the wall <laughs> lord have mercy now doing the application of the mortar someone noticed that the masons were not you know they were having a hard time applying the mortar to the wall because it kept falling off the wall and that person asked them about it but they ignored the issue and it kept applying the mortar the mortar kept falling but yet they kept you know picking it up and just slapping it back on the wall you know a few months later after plastering of the walls you know to treat the uh, water dampness i hired a new uh, group of masons to um, plaster the summer hut yeah and then when they came they discovered a problem with the walls by the sound it projected you know when they just slapped the wall or hit the wall it just projected a hollow sound you know they call it like the wall no casa wall no or casa meaning that the wall no you know it's, it's talks I don't know how to explain that I hope you know what I mean but what's the wall no or casa so there's a problem with the wall but anyway you know I'm like so what is it is it maybe they didn't do something right you know the mortar that was applied to the wall was not done right so the wall talks or the wall just makes special kind of you know sound which indicates that there's a problem with the wall well, the new masons finished the plastering of the summer hut and left and i really didn't follow through with the new issue that they discovered i figured i would tackle that issue another time until i decided to get the coconut tree cut chopped down because really it wasn't really bearing any fruit i mean it was bearing fruit but the, the fruit was very small the coconut uh, itself was very small it just didn't get any big it just you know produce fruit but the coconut itself was very small i just don't know what it is so i decided to just get the coconut tree you know chopped down cut down and then i just have a special project for that part that area you know where the coconut tree is planted i mean that space is small but i just have too many ideas so the person who was cutting down the tree discovered that the wall 
the mortar or the concrete that was supplied, the mortar that was supplied to the wall was separating, like the whole entire wall was separating. The new wall was being separated from the main wall. Let me show you. Roll the tape. After we discovered that the new mortar that was applied to the wall, the chemical treated mortar that was applied to the wall was separating from the, you know, the main wall, I contacted the foreman or the former uh, project manager and, uh, you know, I paid him very well to have this thing done, the water dampness, you know, um, treatment done. And um, a few, just a few months later, why are we having this issue? Crack us up from the end to the end. Confirm to the cry wire to form. From end to end. A wire cry from end to end. From end to end. A wire cry. And after months and months and months and months of getting him to come to the house and take a look and solve this issue, you know, he finally came. And when he did, he just came to look at it. And instead of him, you know, taking care of the issue himself or just being there to supervise his workers, you know, to do the job right, he just told them what to do and left to do somebody else's job, you know. And what did they do? They repeated the exact same mistake that they did in the first place. They did oh, not even God. scrape the wall to make it rough so that the mortar would adhere to the main wall. They just mixed more chemicals with cement and then started applying it to the smooth wall. So I immediately, you know, I've stopped them from continuing the work because I'm like you know what you're not about to repeat the same thing again you're not doing anything you're not solving the problem you're just applying a band-aid to the problem you know it's like going to the doctor and telling them that your stomach is just you know bothering you you're throwing up you're, you're you can't even sleep at night and the doctor say here's paracetamol take it without really finding the root cause of the problem so what we ended up doing was like pull that separation down, remove that part that was separating from the wall, the new mortar that was applied to the wall that was being separated from the main wall, we tore it down and I came up with a new idea. So stay tuned for the next videos to come so that you can see what I decided to do with the wall to mitigate the water dampness issue i mean this is a major issue in ghana i'm not sure the best way to resolve it but for now i am going to do something and something something problem you know english english not our language or english no be my language english and yummy language english on yummy but I'm trying because it's the universal language. What can I say? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's the best approach to this problem. And make sure you watch the next videos that I post because there's so much that I have to share. And maybe you may learn something from my mistakes, something from my videos, something that I do that you may incorporate in your building project. You know? Until then, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure that you click the notification button. This way, the next time I post a video, you will be the first to know. Bye-bye. Medasi, pa 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 Medasi, until then. I mean, show. Bye-bye. Lego. Original. Original. Original hey, hey. When he says, but I'm not in man, I tell him it's my life Man, I tell him in the studio, man, I vibe in, it's my life Ah, to play, then they use me to play Man, I vibe in all day, man, I use me to play